beginning, the Sky Father embraced the Earth Mother. Their children, who were male gods, planned to separate them. Tane was foreseen to succeed in the task. However, his brother, who preferred the darkness, created unrest. Tane ignored his stubborn sibling and separated their parents. The brothers cheered, they basked in the light, and cast their dark brother into the underworld. He became the Maori's Lucifer, Fido. And this is Legends from the Pacific. Aloha, and thank you for joining us. This is Legends from the Pacific, Episode 73, The Maori's Lucifer, Fido. I am Kamuala Kanashiro, a native Hawaiian professional writer, speaker, and Comic-Con panelist with extensive film and television experience. I study mythology, I've encountered unusual things, and I'm a geek. To celebrate Halloween 2021, I'll be sharing one of my unusual paranormal investigations. But you can hear one of my first paranormal encounters now for free by joining our email list. Links can be found in our show notes, so sign up today. Later in this episode, your featured song and Hawaiian word, but first, Fido. Okay, a few things before we start. First, Fido is spelled W-H-I-R-O, but is pronounced with an F. We saw this previously with the Tanefa back in episode 61. I'd still like to meet New Zealand today's Guy Williams. Second, researching Fido can be difficult since Fido was also the name of a famous navigator. So, Fido has a lot of names and titles. He's compared to Lucifer, which seems accurate since he rules the underworld, is the personification of diseases, master of the creatures of the night, believed to be the incarnation of all evil and inspires mortals to do bad things. His goal is to break from the underworld and gather strength by devouring the bodies of recently deceased. Because of this, cremation is a popular method used to counter him. Fido despises his younger brother, the chosen light god Tane. Tane is spelled like the Hawaiian word kane with a T as in Tom replacing the K. Fido's most common harbingers are lizards. Lizards are considered a bad omen, and it is said, when a mortal's death is near, a lizard is put in the mortal's body, which devours the insides and causes the mortal's demise. The following is a legend from the Pacific original story and is based on cultural records. The supreme deity announced three baskets and two sacred stones needed to be retrieved from the heavens for the mortals. The baskets contained the knowledge of ritual, memory, prayer, as well as understanding harmful things and evil. The two sacred stones held the power of knowledge and the mana of teaching. Someone was needed for the task and the deity's heavenly messengers traveled the lands, asking the gods how they would retrieve the baskets. They posed Fido the question. His chest swelled. I'd climb to the heavens. The messengers frowned. That would not work. You are not to journey to the heavens. The messengers found Tane and asked how he would retrieve the baskets. Tane bowed. I'd reach the heavens with help from the sacred whirlwinds. The messengers nodded. This would work. They anointed Tane to retrieve the baskets of knowledge, and Tane constructed a house to store them. Fido was furious his younger brother bested him. The god of darkness disobeyed the messengers and climbed to the heavens. 
Tane was lifted to the higher realms, but Fido sent his creatures of the night to attack Tane and gather his blood to make a life-destroying potion. A swarm of insects, bugs, bats, owls, and carrion-eating birds pecked, scratched, and bit Tane. But the winds dispersed the creatures, and Tane ascended unscathed. Fido clenched his teeth and waited for his younger brother's return. Tane retrieved the baskets of knowledge, sacred stones, and descended. Fido summoned his creatures. They attacked again, but the winds scattered the creatures, sending most of them to earth. Tane returned with the heavenly gifts and placed them in the sacred house, while Fido plotted his vengeance. You can support us by getting two or three of your friends to listen to our show. This simple request goes a long way in helping us grow our show. Today, Fido's name is associated with evil or darkness and added to words that express this. He is considered to be the cause of an eclipse and is associated with the first night of a new moon, which is considered bad luck. And finally, in some cultures, the lizard is considered a symbol of death. I don't know about you, but I think it's kind of lame Fido has cool creatures like my Almakua, the Pueo, or Owl. I mean, I understand mosquitoes, but owls? In this regard, it's been pointed out Fido's creatures included caterpillars, who, after being dispersed to Earth, became butterflies. Which proves sometimes beauty lurks in darkness. If you feel our show deserves five stars, please give us that rating, write a review, and share Legends from the Pacific with your friends and family. I'd really appreciate it. A big mahalo nui loa to our newest Patreon supporter, Jessica Bullock. Thank you very much for your support, Jessica. You too can join Jessica Bullock, Edward Pueu Henke, Cassie, Felisa H., Scout Parmenter, The Makuli Guy, and of course... Ren Shepard by becoming a Legends from the Pacific Patreon supporter. Our Patreon supporters provide funding for our hosting services, equipment, and research assistance while enjoying a brief extra monthly exclusive story that's usually one of my many paranormal experiences. So click the link in our show notes and sign up today. As of this recording, I still have yet to pay myself. Our theme song is Mystery by Tavana, courtesy of High Sessions. Sound effects by Sound Effects Factory. Our music coordinator is Matt Duffy, aka DJ Triple Bypass. Links and show notes can be found on our website, legendsfromthepacific.com, including a link to your featured song, which is Treasure by the John Rivera Trio, courtesy of High Sessions. Legends from the Pacific was written, produced, and edited by me, Kamuela Kaneshiro. I also wrote our original stories. Your featured Hawaiian word is pohaku. Pohaku means stone. An example of pohaku is a rolling pohaku gathers no moss. Once again, pohaku is Hawaiian for stone. Rolling a pohaku between two sticks is also the Hawaiian game ulumaika, which we previously discussed. Thank you once again for listening. Mahalo and ahui hoes.